Is Misha Mori Guir, as Cahorn and Marth Kondawio, Akanish, Tommy Goni e Birmingham. My name is Marion Dwyer, and I am the Cahirlock. I'm chair of Cortes Cultori Air in Midland Region here in England. And we have eight branches of Cortes. In this series of short programs, we would like to invite you, given that we cannot meet in person, to come and virtually meet the people that are involved in these branches and to hear from them the work that they do and have done over the years to maintain and sustain our Irish cultural heritage. We begin with the Newport branch, whose chair is David Murphy. They're based just over the Severn Bridge on the English-Welsh border. Hello, my name is David Murphy. I'm the current chair of Meg in the Gale, uh, Cultus Cultoria Aaron, the only branch of Cultus in Wales. Um, I joined the branch in 2003. I came along the first time just to check out what was going on and uh, was made to feel very welcome by Graham Johnson, who was the chairman at the time. I was trying to learn to play the banjo and I came back in 2004 with my oldest daughter and uh, from there my middle daughter learnt to play and my son who's also currently a member plays the baron so our whole family have had the benefit of, of enjoying work, sort of learn to play different musical instruments with cultus and it's been very very enjoyable looking over at uh, our hero pete soper over there and uh, the soper family very much a central part of, of what we're doing these days as well uh, we're going to hear about the history of the branch from one of our founder members, Willie Cowan, who's going to tell us a bit about the families who originally set this up. The family, our family, came down here in 1991. Um, we were a member of the Johnny Doherty branch in Scotland. And we came down here and we met a few people who are like-minded, like the Irish music. Um, we played around pubs and clubs and stuff. Uh, but then later on, we, uh, about 2001, 2002, um, we were playing in the Newport Irish Club and uh, the, there was a lady in there, Noreen, who asked us if we would play for her husband's big birthday. And from then, we picked up an interest in the music and uh, people asked us if they could learn, and etc. And we said, of course they could. And it gave us an idea that we might want to join the cultists. So we formed the committee and named a branch. We had a competition to name a branch. And there was a lady, Kirsten Hoff, who played and taught the button box for us. And it was a bit of a competition. So she won the competition and hence we're called the Mary and the Gale. Uh, she explained what it was all about at the time. So This is a little tune booklet that we had all the children design the front cover and if you can see it we've still got the originals all the children that were there at the time and they all made the, drew a picture of themselves and what instrument they played well i think when when we formed it first uh, we were we were and we still are a very small branch it's very much family orientated um but we've brought 
groups we've brought, the Sean Keane, the singer, to the Irish club, and we, we also brought the tour of Britain to Newport as well, and we, we heard sell-out venues. In the early days when we started, uh, the, the tuition was free, and it's more or less free even now, but uh, that was one of the early principles. Yeah, the, the children are very much um, in the forefront of what we're, what we're about. Um, as you probably heard on, on the set, the, the poker set, the Bally Desmond poker set, was led off by one of the children. Out here we try to just go through the principles of, of cultus really, which is obviously teaching the music, but it doesn't finish there. We do, and we have done, Kelly dancing, set dancing. The future, I think, is pretty bright because of the children. They are very good, and you've heard them, and, and hopefully that will continue, and, and people who have moved away, got married, hopefully they'll bring their children in future years. Sure, it's of my father's cabin, I will softly sing to you. The walls are lit with slanted and the thatch a golden hue. In the evening time we gather, all the neighbours one and all. From the heathery hills of Antrim to the slopes of Donegal. For the table is set, the tea is wet, there's current cake galore. And the likes of which I'm certain sure you've never seen before. The turf is burning brightly, and the fiddle is by the wall. Sure, we'll sing and dance till morning in my father's cabin small. My father's name was Barney, he could make the fiddle sing. And my mother, too, but rest her soul, could make the fuddies ring with her songs of Irish bravery and her ballads of Glen. 
Surely I come from the mountain to the bottom of the glen. Sure it's of my father's cabin with its simple roof of thatch. God save you all is the greeting as you softly lift the latch with a kindly grip and a smiling face. I greet you one and all. It's my castle in old island, it's my father's cabin small. No longer on irons I'll sit upon a golden strand To toil away the weary years that list a foreign land I'll stand alone like someone On a shore that's far from home Far away from my father's cabin And the hills I used to roam For the table is set, the tea is wet There's currant cake galore And the likes of which I certain sure you've never seen before The turf is burning brightly and the fiddle is by the wall Sure we'll sing and dance till morning In my father's cabin small I'm Liz Cowan and I generally just support the branch I, I take the minutes In the past I've uh, done the set dance and Kayleigh dance teaching Some of the younger members showed uh, an interest in singing which is very close to my heart and um, we took it from there and you've seen our two young singers tonight. Uh, they've done a splendid job so I'm very proud of them. We meet Tuesday night at St Julian's Methodist Hall and uh, I think very much the highlight of the night is when we stop for tea and uh, have a chat and a laugh. best thing about Coltus is the friendliness and the openness and the inclusiveness to everyone and um, it's been a big part of our lives. make connections to other branches as well so in Ireland we've got a very strong link to an East Cork branch in Yall, uh, uh, Bruna Shi Cultural Centre and I invited them over to Wales in 2007 and we, they had a very successful visit and ran some workshops and so we all learned to play we, we learned to see a really high standard of musicianship that sort of made a lot of our younger children really aspire to want to play that well and the following year in 2008 uh, a number of us went back and visited you all, so that was a really nice exchange. And we really much see them as a sister branch to us here in Wales, and Michal de Butler is the chairman over there. So we've got very strong connections. We hope to see them again when things have settled down, obviously. 
But I could also mention we also have a strong connection to the Kildare branch and Nuala Keen, I think is chair over there, and Sean, his son, came over and taught for a number of years, a very gifted fiddle player and we were very lucky to have him. So we've always had these cultural exchanges which is, you know, really nice. Um, my parents are from Clonmel in Tipperary originally, so sort of this is very much about my Irish roots and my kids' Irish roots as well. So we've really, really enjoyed being part of the branch over the years. We meet up on a Tuesday night, just come along and you'll be very welcome. And we also have a session um, the first Friday in every month in the St Julian's pub. Well, when things are normal, obviously. I'm not sure when we'll get back to normal. Um, but everybody's welcome. We continue now with the Birmingham branch. Introduced by Vince Jordan. Vince is a former president, a former Uptaron of Cortes Kjol Turieren. That was the uh, wonderful fiddle playing of uh, Laurent Niart, um, a former All Britain champion uh, from South Birmingham branch of Coltus Cultorieren. Coltus Cultorieren was formed in Mullingar in Ireland in 1951. I'm very proud and honoured to uh, say that I was the uh, international president of Coltus uh, on two occasions, the last one from 2018 to present day. Um, Cultus is all over the world in 40 different countries. Now, the Birmingham branch of Cultus was started in 1962, formed by Mrs. Lil Laurie from Roscommon, her husband, Dr. Bob Laurie, who was Scottish, and Father Sean McTernan, who was from Sligo. We are fortunate to have an original membership card from 1962, which belonged to Tommy Boyle, who was recently deceased. The branch was invited to take part in the World Fair in New York in 1965. Musicians from the branch also won many awards including the coveted band competition at the Oroctus. And Kathleen Laurie won All Island Piano Accordion Competition in the 70s. Mrs Lil Laurie was awarded a special Cultus Award in 1994. The South Birmingham branch of Cultus commenced in 1974, formed by Michael Lyons from Galway, Michael McCarthy from County Clare, Martin Erlis, who was a Sligo man, and John Jordan from Mayo. The branch formed with the objective of teaching music to children in the south side of the city, making the lessons affordable. The branch won many awards over the years, including the All Ireland Senior Gurupi Kyo competition in 2012 in Clonmel. Musicians, singers, and dancers from the branch were invited to entertain as part of the Irish Pavilion at the World Expo in Milan in 2015. John Jordan was awarded a special Cultus Award in 1992. A couple of tunes that we're going to play today has got uh, a Birmingham connection. 
um, in the uh, early 1960s, um, a Roscommon flute player uh, came over here to a dinner dance that was at the Imperial Hotel. Now, this flute player, Josie McDermott, was blind and he had a companion to uh, help him uh, on and off the plane, so they travelled together. Um, as the plane was approaching Birmingham Airport, it got diverted to Heathrow Airport because of fog. Now, Josie and his companion, not knowing the geography of the land, uh, when they got to Heathrow, jumped into a taxi and asked for the Imperial Hotel Birmingham City Centre. Um, and on the rather long journey, uh, Josie wrote this tune which he called Trip to Birmingham. Uh, we're going to play another couple of tunes now, uh, the Air 39 and the uh, Mountain Road Reel. Uh, and I'd like to say that how fortunate I am to have a friend uh, like Graham Alexander, who is also such a superb guitarist. So I'm very, very lucky.
So we had Air 39 and the Mountain Road and thank you Graham Alexander for that lovely guitar work. And I'm very proud of our two young people, Lauren and Ben, who've given us great music and the music is in safe hands with them too. So we hope you've enjoyed being with us today and uh, all the best for Flarfest from South Birmingham Cultus Cultori Aaron. <laughs>